Dancing is really hard. And there are so many challenges from how am I gonna pay my rent to how do I get my leg higher to, you know, so many things. And dance can be healthy, as challenging as it is. There can be longevity. There can be injury and recovery. Um, and there can be uh, emotional ease. Doesn't mean that there's not gonna be emotional eruptions, but you have the tools to deal with those eruptions. So I'm a big tool belt person. I want, I find tool belts very sexy, and I want the greatest tool belt for myself and for my students. I think teaching is just one of the most response, one of the most uh, greatest responsibilities one has. And I'm gonna say this this afternoon, a student walks in, they don't know you, and they trust you implicitly, and they give you their instrument, and they say, do me. And I take that incredibly seriously. I mean, I take that obsessively seriously. When I train teachers, I talk about the two, two schools of teaching. You can teach the individual, like that person needs this and that person needs that, or you can just give the information, and if they get it, they get it, and if they don't, pff, tough luck, kid. But in fact, I care that they learn. So if I feel someone's going to learn more by pushing, I'm gonna push. But if the person next to them is going to break if I push them in the same way, I'm not gonna push in that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my homework and I'm gonna figure out another way to get them. My goal is for you to have the longest career you want. Like I train people for longevity. I don't have to worry about a 20 year old. They're gonna be fine. I wanna worry about the 30 year old and the 40 year old and the 50 year old and the 60 year old. And if I train them well when they're 20, I don't have to worry about that. We have, as teachers, a responsibility to impart the, the uh, most fundamental information that makes them uh, be the best they possibly can be, physically, uh, psychologically, emotionally. And an organization such as this supplies that information. And then as teachers, we get to pick and choose what, what is important of that research. So you can't use everything. <laughs> all the time, um, but you can cross-reference and decide what's really good for you, for your students. If I can do that in the studio, if I can impart to them in the studio that there's a healthier way of doing something, doesn't mean it's not hard, doesn't mean it's not sometimes feeling impossible, that I am somehow instilling in them a road where they can take responsibility for their own wellness. So my goal is not to create new problems. My goal is to create solutions to the problems. The world is a uh, very different place, um, in good ways and not such good ways, for sure. But in one of the ways that it's good is that the hierarchy of student-teacher um, is, I hope, doesn't have the power that it used to. And I. I want my students to respect me and look up to me, but only because I have information that I haven't yet given, had time to give them. I, it, it's not because I'm better than them. Um, and I don't want to, oh, it makes me cry. <laughs> um, I don't want to have that power over them. And yet, at the same time, we're not equal, right? I'm a lot older than they are, and um, I'm, I have experience that they haven't, but that doesn't make me better than they are, and that therefore doesn't give me the right to abuse them.